Hi, welcome to another video. Um, don't ask me why I look like this. I My hair is being unruly. That's why I have both a headband and my glasses, just trying to tame it to make it look somewhat manageable. Um, today's inspo, Selena Killa. I'll put up photos. Um, she kind of has this character on her TikTok after she released or was teasing her um, Nectarine Lane single forever ago. Or not forever ago. Well, now it feels like forever ago, but it is still a pretty recent song. Um, it's called, yeah, Nectarine Lane, and more or less, um, uh, Nectarine the Clown, kind of just like this orangish tangerine, soft peach color, kind of exaggerated eye shapes, nose blush, mouth thing. I did put a little bit of concealer on my lips, but I don't think I'm gonna do the exact thing. It's more of an inspiration because I feel like clowns are popular every year, and if you're someone who wants to do more of kind of a glam clown, you can kind of modify the Selena Killa Nectarine Clown look or Nectarine the Clown look to to see do you as you to do as you see fit. But I just feel like this is like a perfect kind of just easy, not necessarily easy one, but one that I feel like everyone can do because I feel like if you have a if you have This is not turning out the way I wanted already. So that's awesome. That's fun. That's epic. What was I saying? Um, I'm just sketching out. You can kind of sort of see. Um, I'm, I guess. I guess it's because of the lighting and how like washed out I am right now. I did a very very even coat of this one con of the Elf Hydrating Concealer, so it looks a little weird right now. But I promise I'll add more shadow. I have like a couple shades of oranges. I'm just going to go on top of it. Right now I'm just kind of loosely sketching out the shape. And then I'm just kind of looking at what she did for the photo. Because her eyebrows are like a little bit higher than mine. And I'm guessing she just did like the tip of the diamond right here. And then we're going to go very very large. Like basically our whole lid is going to be the rest of the diamond. Honestly I probably should have did this a lot bigger but... I totally forgot what I was going to talk about. I honestly thought about just making this a voiceover and then I realized how much I, I actually don't like doing voiceovers because it's a lot of effort. Although this is going to be really, really unsymmetrical. As you can see, um, already above my eyebrows, it's already fucked up. I thought about blocking out my eyebrows as well. And then again, I was just like, that's too much effort. So I'll put up the photo again, and she more more or less just has these very, very large diamond shapes above her eye. And, I'm, and then we have a large negative space in the middle, which is like directly underneath her eye. So I'm kind of just making that as big as I want, as I see fit. I do have this like little nice um, BH Cosmetics brush. I think it's perfect for doing these shapes. And then she also has like a little twinkly on her, a little star on her cheek, but I don't think I'm gonna do that because it's just giving me like Hisoka vibes from Hunter Hunter or Hunty Hunty, as the cultured baddies say. But more than likely, this is just a loose idea of where I want the shadow to go. For some reason, this orange is pulling more yellow. I don't know why. Also, I have a really bad habit of like not being able to just like speak when I'm doing something that requires too much, too much concentration for whatever reason. So I think now, I kind of just want a fluffier brush just to place the eyeshadow loosely. And of course, my brushes are all freaking dirty. But I feel like the clown look or just like, because people do Joker, people do Harley, and then obviously people are probably going to take inspiration from Selena's um, nectarine looks and things like that. So I feel like it's fairly easy. Or even like Jester's, like I know with the garden, they always like get a surge of popularity every year. Uh, the Shears twins play heavily into that kind of like Jester look. And so I feel like this is a little bit easy or just something that i feel like is doable for for everyone at every skill level although it's gonna look like a mess until i like kind of clean it up just because i'm going in loosely with a lot of uh 
I'm going in loosely with a lot of shadows and a lot of shapes. And I really don't do these sort of looks that have a lot of uh, layers or are slightly more complicated, like the looks um, that Antakasha did for some of Rina's. The <laughs> that Anataka she did for some of the the covers slash music videos for Rina Sawayama. There's also a reason why I don't do um, shapes because it's really hard for me to make them symmetrical. But I do have the photo here, and I'm more or less. Oh yeah, I, f I forgot to mention where, but I should have all. Uh, bleh, 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 bleh. I mean, I'm fuck. I'm really just so scatterbrained today. I went to bed at four in the morning. I just couldn't sleep for whatever reason. I was struggling to sleep because we have that like negative space. Well, it's supposed to be a lot bigger, but obviously, I I failed to do so, but that's fine. I'll go in with a little bit of white. I'm a mum what's my better thing? Went to bed late. Went to bed at 4 in the morning. Still woke up like at 10 a.m. I don't know what's happening, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know what's happening all the time, any day, ever. So like anything that comes out of my mouth, I'm just... This is not the shape that I was going for because I just have such a weird face. I will fix it. I'll fix it. We'll, we'll figure something out. And if this flops, that's totally fine. Oh my god, I, knew, I, I kind of know what I should have did instead. Just like gone in with a less fatter brush. You know what? It's okay. I, I know how I can fix this. Um, but for now, just bear with me while we finish getting our shapes. Honestly, I'm gonna be honest. I also don't know what a diamond looks like, shape-wise. I'm just gonna be honest. These look more like gems, honestly. Or like, you know when people do, um, what are they called? The little like anime eyes on top of their regular eyes. <laughs> That's what this kind of looks like. Just because I'm not really good at doing those. I tried to do that like anime eyes look, the one that like Lady Gaga did in the paparazzi video. And I kind of had the vision. I kind of had the vision. And then I um I was just using also I was just using like shitty Halloween store. Shitty Halloween store. Shitty Halloween store makeup paint. And those are like always so hard to use. Well, I don't want to say that they're super, super hard to use, but they're not the easiest. And again, I don't like to say like everyone has to use like the most expensive, um, the most expensive products or whatever, because I, I honestly don't think you have to. I think you can just do with what you work with, but there definitely is reasons why a lot of the People who are considered pros or amateur MUAs use the products that they do. And it's because they work well. Also, as you can see, I keep getting fucking longer and longer and more lopsided. And so this is getting a nightmare to be make even. And this is why I think I was going to have such a hard time doing this look. Because one, I'm not taking my time. And two, it wasn't like the look that I was like most excited to do. I think the one that I was most excited to do was like my final girl look. And I think I'm I'm going to put that one towards the end of, um, of my Halloween looks. Just because that one was so much fun. And is this kind of fun? Yeah, but it's not turning out the way that I wanted it to. And now it's making me angry. Well, it's not, not really. I try not to like think of things negatively, but sometimes it's hard because I see how talented people are, but then I also have to realize like their skill levels and their talent, duh, duh, and how like it's at a completely level where I'm at or poop pee pee or kaka kaka, whatever, you know, because I don't want to, I don't want to feel, um, 
don't want to feel bad for myself because I feel like I do have some level of talent. I'm just... My brain works differently, and so everything gets um, executed differently. And I can't get mad at myself for that, just because I have a different brain and I have a different vision. Because honestly, it doesn't look that bad. I just kind of like a jack-o'-lantern, and so I guess if you wanted to be a little jack-o'-lantern, <laughs> you could, question mark. Or like this can be like your base, because this definitely looks more jack-o'-lantern-y than what I was hoping, but I think I can save it. I don't have an orange lipstick, but I think I can kind of just go in with... I have a little scab right there. I don't know if it shows up on camera, but I can see it in the mirror. I'm also gonna blend it out just a little bit with yellow on the edges. Keep getting messages and stuff who's talking to me i realize i always realize like whenever i start conversations with my friends that i have to like finish them or that i actually have to like keep her just being in the conversation okay now with my big old brush and i think i'm just gonna go straight with the soft orange we're gonna do the nose and i'm not really gonna blend it out i'm kind of just gonna keep it straight on my little nosy nose because we're already getting to 12 minutes and I will fix it and I'll tell you what I fixed. And then we're going to loosely put it on the lips and then I'm gonna pack on a brighter color or like a brighter orange. I don't have any liquid. Um, I don't have any liquid white. I know that sounds weird, but I mean like I don't have a white eyeliner so that I can do highlights because I realized that like what S. Antoinette and a lot of the other makeup artists do is that when they do their do eyeshadow lipstick, even if it's not the same shade or they use the, they use the eyeshadow as a lipstick, right? They use kind of a white or a gloss to bring in the highlights so that it actually looks like it would be. It actually looks like it would be a uh, actual lipstick. I think I might do a little bit of blush as well, just kind of over here, so that we just kind of fully commit to the clown look. And then I'll kind of just like blend it out a little bit. So when I think of clowns, right? When we're thinking of clowns, thinking of clowns, manifesting clowns, not really excited. I don't, I don't have an irrational fear of clowns, but I understand people who do. Because they are a little scary. Um, more or less. Think of like the the blush placement. I think of the eyes. <laughs> I look like I have Cheeto dust on my lips. Um, I'm going to just like extend the edges of my mouth just a little bit. Um, not with black. I thought about using black. Um, but because this is such an orange look. I kind of just want to go in with uh, all of the same color family. So like just all oranges and peaches and tangerines. I know it sounds like a grocery store list, but it's more or less just the colors that I'm using. Also, I will go in, with, I will blend a little bit off camera and I will like extend so that I'm a little bit more even. Now we're going to go in, I guess with this brush, we need to have a clean brush. Yeah, I have a, my little square brush. And I'm gonna go in with the orange, and then I'm kinda just gonna extend the mouth out a la Joker style. Just a little bit. Cause I don't wanna look like Joker. I want like a little cute clown. Also, the dangers of doing this is just that you might get eyeshadow in your mouth. And not all, not all eyeshadow is safe for consumption. So I would just be extra careful, extra careful when you're putting it around in, in your mouth. Well, it kind of looks kind of cute. Okay, so I will blend a little bit more and then we're gonna refine the edges and I'll be right back and I'll tell you what I did again. 
Um, this is going to be my Joker arc because I did my best and it's going to my forehead. And here's the thing, I also don't have an appropriately sized forehead. Um, three fingers, that's my whole fucking forehead. That's my entire forehead. So I think I set myself up for failure. Um, I'm not gonna redo it, but if I were to redo it, I probably would kind of just do it like how Izzy XXY, XXXY, XXY does their makeup because um, it's very large, but I feel like when it does go above the eyebrows, it's kind of just done with a straight brush and not like me trying to do a fat ass triangle on top of my eyebrows. I did a kind of a look like this for Halloween forever ago, like four or three years ago or whatever, and it looked a lot better than this. Don't ask me why, but look, hold on, let me not talk. Not the cutest fucking shit you've ever seen. I love that. I love that. This can go to hell, go to trash, but this, this, love, epic. So if you are going to redo this look, and if I were to redo this look, I would more than likely just tone down on the fucking go above my eyebrow, kind of just do like the little flicks that I did here. I would just do that very kind of just longer below my under eye and then just barely above my eyebrow so that it looks better so maybe we'll get a redo maybe we won't i tried to make it even as you can see i have more than than here and um and what can i say i'm not good at doing shapes um but this is fun and if you want as well you can kind of just make this a jack-o-lantern look because that's kind of where we end up going anyway because i did a gold shadow i was trying to find my like actual orange shimmer shade but um i got rid of a lot of books so instead of you being on top of a lot of books you're on a bunch of textbooks an iphone box um four eyeshadow palettes a ds xl and a 3ds so yeah um so i just did a gold color from the juvia's place palette and honestly it kind of looks really cute especially on the nose and the lips so fucking cute but yeah definitely you can gore this up or you can glam it up even you can make it more glam you can do a scary pumpkin you could be a um, better version of a clown you can do a little joker jester person so th this this look is very versatile um but i just does not execute it the way that selena does it and selena has so many tutorials of like how she does her makeup for the nectarine character um but unfortunately um i just am not on the same level that she is but i did just do a little mascara Tried to do the shapes, tried to blend out a little bit more, add a little bit more blush, even though it looks blushy. I just did more of the lip and then added some shimmer on the nose. Again, if you look just right here, <laughs> that's super cute. You would think it's a clown, but then when you look at my lids, I look like a fucking jack-o'-lantern. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.